Looks like you're new here. Let's give your world a name. My world... I'm gonna call the world Stanley. The world is called Stanley. It is very cute. I like that it lasts every time you pick something. That one's not cute. I kind of like the square eyes. And the eyebrows that I can't see. I'll keep it the brown hair. It looks like a, <laughs> it looks like a chipmunk with his mouth full. It looks like a chipmunk with his mouth full. A laughing, manic laughing simulator. That's like what it is. You're cute. No, you. We can have some cute hair too. Lots of hair choices. I love it. The game came out with multiple hair choices. You know, because a lot of games just come out and there's very few hair choices. Uh, obviously, I'm going to go with pink because we always have pink hair in everything. Um, where's like a bright pink though? That's not really a bright pink, is it? Um, that one kind of works. Love the music already. The music is cute. Okay, we picked our hair. Um. There's never like a stubbly facial hair. There's never like a just like a, a facialish hair. <gasps> we can give him like <gasps> we can make him all magic-y. Oh my goodness. He can be all magic. -y. So this game has magic in it, so that sold me that sold me a long time ago. He's cute! <gasps> Pronouns as well. Love it. We'll go with he, him. Oh, and a voice, too. I like how we just make them silent. Like, this person is mute. I'm okay with this one. It's a manic laughing sim. It's just laughing. That's all they say. It's just They just make laughing noises at us. Oh, I have to hold it to complete it? Okay. We love it. Walking along the beach one day, staring at the sand. A message in a bottle invited me to a faraway land. The author described an island in need. No, uh, one like no other and a home for the brave. It was written so kindly. I set off with adventure in my heart and the wind behind me. The voyage was dangerous and my boat was shattered. I clung to the wreckage, my sail in tatters. Suddenly, the waters calmed, and then I saw it. Welcome to Azoria. You don't have a double chin. What you do have is it's bad, bad posture. posture. Thank you. <laughs> made a new friend. Hi. Hello there. Quest. My goodness, look at what the tide brought in. Are you okay? Your name is TTV That Brit Rick, and you found a message in a bottle? Excellent news. I was the one who threw it into the ocean. I can't believe that worked. I am Mayor Merritt. A pleasure to meet your soggy self. Oh, the house? Yes, it's still available. Actually, you're the only one who's tried to make it to our island. It's a wonderful, magical place filled with all kind of... Uh, with kind and crazy friends, but we're surrounded by whirlpools. And there's a blizzard that's been howling for what seems like years up in the mountains. And there's an active volcano that has been threatening to go off. There's also the wild magic that swept through and animated a bunch of junk, but we managed to shove them all into the mine. And don't even get me started on the shade and thorns. Yep, Azoria is a real paradise. No, don't go. Well can't actually go because of the whirlpools, but I can sweeten the deal. I'll have my patented welcome pa package sent to your house. And look, a fun map that shows where you, uh, shows you where everyone and everything can be found. Go on and check out your new home. Okay. The message bottle is true. Uh, a lovely farm is waiting for you here. All you have to do is claim it. So to discover and enter the new home, as well as open the welcome package. 
I promise you'll love it here. And we got a world map. Let's have a look at the world map. Nope. Oh, okay. So we need to go to our homestead, which is here. Um, there's the town center, West Town, Plains of Plenty, Stay a Wild Bay. Love that. Okay, so we can track it if we click it. Nice. Okay. Control theme Q. So it's telling us that this is the direction. Oh, look at all the people. Hello. Good to see you. An eager reader prefers non-fiction and biographies. It feels so good when the weather gets warmer. We chat to them. Have you spoken with the mayor yet? She works really hard to take care of the town. Oh? Okay. Oh? Wallpapering. Love it. Spring forage is the tastiest. I was looking forward to picking huckleberries all winter. Nice. Hello, who are you? Charles, a voracious reader who prefers fictions and mystery. Greetings. Before you arrived, it had been a long time since we had a new face in Azoria. Okay, springtime is when I go looking for mussels on the beach. They're easy to find. Okay. I feel like we could come back to these because we're probably going to be tasked to speak to them anyway. Um, after visiting... Oh, what is that? Is that a frog? Hello? Oh, it's getting away. Hello? Is that a frog? Oh, hello. Oh, a pink checkered rug. Love it. Okay. I want to jump on this mushroom. <laughs> it looks so bouncy. I had to jump on it. Is this our house? A clay pot recipe. Love it. Is this our house? There's no way this is our house, right? We've got to go this way up here. This is our house. There, uh, a variety pack comes with casual cozy farmer outfit, cozy cap, straw, lower face accessory. Nice. Add them to our inventory. Thank you so much. Oh, both? Okay. I love it. Okay, we got a welcome pack. We like free stuff. Discover and enter your new home. Okay, let me pick up this. Ooh, a customization mirror. I love that. That means I can change my look, right? Look how cute this is. There's even a hammock here. Can we get on the hammock? I want to... Can I get on the hammock, please? Uh, okay, almost. I tried. I tried. Flower soil beds are essential to grow and crossbreed flowers. Welcome to your new home. Oh, I got a backpack inventory. You can press I to open your backpack and view or use items you've collected along the way. Okay, let's have a look. So if we press I, okay, here's our backpack. We've got two slots or two rows. We can edit our outfit here. These are our tools, I guess. We have an axe for chopping small trees and small logs. We have a pickaxe for minerals that aren't too hard. I like the way it's spelled. A sickle for cutting down plants into grasses. A shovel for sand and clay, as well as a watering can for one seed at a time. Rick is Dora the Explorer. I am. I am. I'm going on an adventure. Oh, look at our cute little house. We have a bed and we can sleep in it. Is that a present? No, it's not. <laughs> Let me think of free stuff. Okay. Well, hello. Hello there. Thanks again for coming to Azoria. I hope you'll stay a long time. Redeem quest. Moving in. Redeemed. Love it. So what do you think of your new home? Welcome kit was pretty sweet, right? I knew you'd love it. Azoria is the perfect place to live, assuming you're okay with magical thorns and suspicious weather patterns. Why don't you try giving your home its own name? Give it that special that Brit Rick touch. What should we name our house? What are we going to call the house? We have to name the house? What is a house name? What would, we, what would you call a house? What would you call a house? Should we, can I just call it home? Can I just call it home? Home. I'm going to call it home. Don't tell me what you've named it. That's just between you and your farm. Speaking of farm. This house comes with one. Right here, this is the farm. It's okay, it's in better days and will require some elbow grease, but you survived a whirlpool, so it's nothing you can't handle. Besides, it shouldn't take too long to tidy up the place, not with your own set of brand new tools. We got the starter tools, yes. Just keep an eye on your energy, okay. 
With those beginner tools, you can get all types of things, all, all kinds of things done, and you can upgrade them later at Cinder's Smithy by the docks to tackle tougher jobs. Try clearing away rocks, logs, wild grass, and harvesting arugula from the lands around your home. You can keep all the materials you can gather. Okay. We call it rocket in the UK, not arugula. Wind harvest, fibers, stone, beach lock, and arugula. That works. Okay. That's so cute. Look at it spinning. And this too. Oh, not strong enough. Okay. Okay, it does change the tool. So I only have to have the tools themselves and it will change to them when I try and interact with the item. That's arugula? Okay. That works. I need 10 of these. Um, I need stone and arugula. Okay. Oh, we can collect the wood like this, but actually that isn't our quest. We do need stone though. Nice. Picking this use energy? No, it does not. Oh, we leveled up in foraging. I love that. Okay. Very sweet. We get two from each one. Nice. Okay, one more. And then we also need to get some more arugula, but just some right next to us. Love it. Return to Merit. Okay. Quest ready for turn in. Hello. Uh -huh. Hello. Thanks again for coming to Zoria. I hope you'll stay a long time. We need to place a round woven stool inside of your home. Okay. C for construction. Nice. Okay. So I guess you unlock them and then you can just change them. There's the flooring. Decor. So what we needed to do was the build catalog. There we go. The round woven stool, plant fibers. Oh, <gasps> okay. Let's just put it maybe here. I love it. Oh, <gasps> look how cute that is. Oh, we can use it too. Oh, when he sits on it. Hi, hi. happy to he have you around. They keep saying this like, you've already said hi. It looks like you've been doing this your whole life. Really, I'm impressed. Generally speaking, you can build decorative things inside or outside. How you set up the farm is up to you. Uh -huh. Oh, and we've built, already built you a mailbox. Miles, the postman, will deliver your letters and packages first thing in the morning, so don't forget to check your mail. Oh, and I know what you should build next. A cooking fire? Mm. I'd like me some food. Having a cooking fire on your farm is the easiest way to cook up a hot meal. You can always make fancy equipment later. There's all kind of things you can cook on your cooking fire. I've seen some arugula around, but there's mussels on the beach too. Try building a cooking fire and cook some food on it. Okay, we can do that. We craft outside. Oh, we can if we're down here. Okay. Build catalog. Here's the fire. Uh, let's put it. That's not central, is it? Uh, no, because it's off centered. Okay. We have to pretend we didn't see it. Um, cook something. They said to you... We can cook the arugula. Um, I don't know what the beach is yet, so maybe we don't go to that until we find it. But we can cook mussels as well, I guess. That's why they mentioned it. Let's cook five of them. Oh, wait, I closed it. And then prepare. Nice. So you can already set the number that you want to prepare as well. So you don't have to click it multiple times. Imagine that. Oh, and I guess if you leave, you can come back to it. Oh, and it shows you a little present to show you that there's something to be collected. Okay, so if I collect these two and then come out of it, yes, that present's gone. So the present is there to show you that there's something done and ready to be collected. Interesting. I like that already. So you can see from a distance if your stuff is ready to be, uh, ready to be collected or not. Okay. I'm liking it. I'm liking it. Now, if you're busy doing other things, you can see if your stuff's ready or not. And then wait for this last one. Thank you. Nice. Return to Merit. 
Hello there. Azoria's the best, uh, the better for having you. The better for having you? The joy of farmyard cooking. Let me see what you've cooked. Bravo, you see, with a cooking fire, you can roast and toast your heart's content. Home-cooked food always tastes better, I say. Good food gives you more energy than raw and sells for more money at the market too. Try using different raw ingredients to see how they can be transformed into tasty treats. Experiment, you know, get jazzy with it. I know what you're thinking. When is Merrick going to teach me about farming? Right now, let's get our hands dirty and play around with some seeds and soil beds. You know, I'm pretty sure I left some seeds and construction materials in your storage shed. You have a storage shed, by the way. <laughs> by the way, just in case you didn't notice, go get your materials from the storage shed, then construct some soil beds on your farm and plant one seed in each. Okay, we can do that. Soon you'll be enjoying fresh Azorian produce. You're going to be so self-sufficient, you can thank me later. Okay, let's use this. Okay, so here's the seeds. We'll take all of them. Yes, transfer. Wait, 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 wait. Can I just press R? There we go. I actually have to individually hold items. It's spreading to you. It's spreading to me. It's spreading to me. Okay, I need to place soil beds. Basic soil beds. I need to place three of them. So let's put them there, there, and there. Can I not just place more? How many seeds do I have? How many seeds do I have? I have nine. Can I not just place more? Maybe. Do you think it will tell me off if I plant all of them? If I do all of them? I have the materials for them. I have the materials for them. So why not? <laughs> why not? If I have them. I did it. Oh, and then I watered them too. Oh, that's cute. Okay. I assumed I was going to water them, but... You just click on them individually and it waters that one. So you're not just, just pouring. Oh, and if you hover over them, it tells them what I had planted too. So if I forget what I planted, I can just hover over it and it tells me it's a turnip. Nice, okay. Well, I like that already. Uh -huh. Hi, happy to have you around. Thank you. Uh -huh. Wonderful job. Soon your field will be sprouting with ground-grown goodness. Say that three times fast. Ground-grown goodness. Ground-grown good. Ground-grown goodness. Ground-grown goodness. No. No. Just don't forget to water your seeds. They won't grow unless they're watered. Though if it rains, you can skip a day. Oh, we have weather already. I like some good weather. I hope you've been tending to your fields. I hope you keep tending to your fields. As a farmer always says, don't leave them alone. Haha, <laughs> we have fun. You've done so much to improve your farm already. I bet you aren't even thinking about that harrowing journey across the ocean. The one where I didn't really make it. Oh, you should meet your neighbors. Word has probably already spread that you are here. We're a bit of a small town, you see. You should go talk to Eddie the ma the marina. He's probably near his home in Stay a Wild Bay. He'll have a fish tail or two to share. Okay, let's go find Eddie the marina. Okay. If we check the map, that's down here. Okay. We can track it. No, tell us. Will I drown if I go in the water? Uh, no. I didn't drown. Okay, I was just being lazy then. There are bugs everywhere. What does this do? Use? I need... Okay. That's a portal? Oh, there's cute little bugs everywhere. Oh, a bridge. Love it. Love it. Okay, we need to go back down. Okay, good. Okay. Ooh. Fancy. Oh. I almost lost my ankles. <gasps> cute things at the beach. Lots of things to collect at the beach, apparently. I get experience just for picking this stuff up, and it doesn't use my energy? No energy is being used? Oh, a recipe? A squid vase. That's kind of cute, too. Hello! Hello, landlubber. 
Have you been exploring yet? Island's got a lot of secrets ready for the finding. I met one of the neighbors. Good to see you. If no one's told you, I'm Eddie, Azoria's old marina. I hear you've got a little farm going. I wouldn't hold that against you, even though fishers and farmers have been at odds forever. Never mind that, you haven't lived until you've fished. Believe me, give me the seas over the trees any day. How about old Eddie give you a quick lesson in the art of rod and a reel? Hot dog, I'm ready when you are. Alright, go out there and catch a fish. Any kind you like, salt or fresh water. I'll even give you my old rod. May it serve you well. <gasps> we got a fishing rod. Now hold out your rod and cast it so your blobber... Your bobber lands near the mouth of the fish. Then you reel it in a bit at a time, not too fast. The hypnotic motion should encourage the fish to strike. When the fish has bitten, you get to reeling fast. Not all at once, though. If your line turns red, it's ready to break. Best stop for a moment until it turns white again. Keep it up and with a little luck, you'll reel in a prize. Go fishing and come tell me all about it. Okay. There's a fish right there. Right there that we're going to try and get. Oh, not if I jump in and scare the fish. Oopsie. Okay. Oh, I... There we go. Okay. Hold, charge, and aim. That was not near its mouth, but we'll allow it. We can jiggle the lure. Oh, if you pull it in, it, it encourages the fish to turn around and look at you. Okay. It's interested. Okay, you gotta wait till it goes white and then reel it. Okay. So if it's pulling, you have to let go. You need to reel it back in again. Okay, but you're moving further than I'm real. Okay, there we go. Go, 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 go. There we go. We caught a fish. A salmon. Nice. Okay. Let's return to Eddie for rewards. I love a reward. We love a good reward. Hello, land lover. One time I was casting my nets off the coast of Crovonia. Or Crovania. And just for a second, I saw the silhouette of a massive fish pass under my ship. Hey, oh, he's just, uh, okay, he's just gossiping. He's gossiping. Hi, Tom, welcome back. You seem to have done well for yourself. Tell me how the fishing went. Well done, my friends. You're on the way to become a marine master. Maybe you'll even learn... Uh, maybe you'll even leave the farm for the seas one day like I did. But enough of that. I've taught you all I can. I've seen you grow from a minnow to a sardine. I think it's time you spoke with our local beekeeper. Mel the beekeeper can teach you about critter catching and you're going to want to pay attention for that. Oh? Okay. Also, can I sell you stuff? Can I sell you the fish that I just got? Oh, I can't sell you my stuff, but I can buy from you. Okay. Once caught a tuna that was so big, it nearly swallowed my ship with me on it. Fed a whole town for a week. You have a quest also? I do believe... Oh, okay. We've already got that quest. Okay, let me check the map and find where Mel is. Okay, they're back in town. Okay. Nice. Let me grab this recipe. Aqua woven rugs. Love it. Okay. Lots of fish. Oh, there's a ship down here. Oh, not me drowning again. Can we get in the ship? No. Okay, I that was worth a try. That was worth a try. Is there anything over here? Oh, oh no, not the whirlpools. I've been warned about the whirlpools. Okay, maybe maybe we'll get out of the water for a minute. I don't want to die. Not the whirlpools. We'll collect some of these, though. Oh, can we chop the bamboo as well? Uh, no, okay. We need a stronger sickle. Okay, you're not who I'm supposed to be speaking to, so I'm actually just going to pretend I didn't see you. Oh, there's a recipe here. An iron fence. Love it. Okay, is it in here or is it up here? Okay, it's right here. Okay. Bees! Another recipe. We'll take it. A clay brick path. We love a good path. Hello? Have you spoken with the mayor yet? She works really hard to take care of the town. A new face. When I heard someone wash up on the shore, I could hardly be leave it. 
It's so nice to meet you. You must have a lucky clover in your boot to have made it past the whirlpools. I'm Mel. I hope everyone is treating you well. It's been a it's been a long oh it's been so long since we've had someone new on the island. The bees have all been a buzz about it. You moved into the abandoned farm. Wonderful. Hey, since you're new here, let me show you how we catch bees and other critters here on Azoria. How the bees not sing of that old guy? Probably because they're honeybees. And honeybees aren't aggressive. They're just kind of watching from a distance. Look at that one it's buzzing around his head. Look how cute that is. Look how cute that little baby one is. Oh, I want to pet them. Azoria is a haven, for, a haven for critters, mostly because they outnumber us Azorians by a wide margin. Don't worry about how the critters feel about it. I developed the most gentle, cozy critter net. It's like being scooped up by a cloud. Here, I've always got an extra net just in case. It does look kind of cute, actually. With the cute little handle to it. Equip your net and swing it to catch a critter. To improve your chances, ready your net and approach the quit the quitter? The quitter slowly. Why don't you go take a couple swings and catch a few critters, then come back and show me. I just know you're gonna catch the critter catching bug. Okay. So if we hold this, we can sneak. And then release the swing. Oh! I caught a peacock butterfly. We got it! I caught some cute little butterflies. Oh, there's a bug over there. I'm coming, Mr. Ladybug. I said Mr. Ladybug. I gotcha. Very cute. Any more, any more bugs? Any more? Any more bugs? Oh, what is that? Hello. Tentacles. Or thorns, I guess. I, I immediately thought tentacles, they're pink. Like, is there an octopus there? Okay, I didn't see any more bugs. Oh, there's one. There's one. Gotcha. A common moth. There we go. Let's return to Mel and let him know. Oh. Gotcha. Got a firefly as well. How cute. What is that? Oh, did it replenish our energy? Hi, Mel. Hello. I'm looking forward to planting my spring crop. Took a peas, here we come. We did it. How did that feel? Nice, right? You can keep the net. You've got a great technique. I can see you're becoming an avid critter catcher. Remember, critters can leave you little gifts if you add them to a conservatory, but that's for later. The mayor said not to overwhelm you. Uh, okay, but you got me excited. You know, there are many critter collections on the uh, collectors on the island. If you catch a critter, you could always sell it. There's always someone in Zoria who'd like to buy. You can sell just about anything, really, and then you'll earn florins. That's the local currency if no one told you. Well, selling things is really Pearl's speciality. She's the chairwoman of the Merchant Guild. She's kind of a big deal around here. I'm sure she would love to tell you all about selling things. You can find her in the town center marketplace. It's been a real pleasure chatting with you. He's very sweet. Go meet Pearl. Okay, Pearl. Oh, you're all in the town center? Okay. You're, everyone's in the town center. Oh, there's somebody at my house. I think that's the mayor, wasn't it? The mayor's at my house. We go this way. Aha! Right, we were already here, weren't we? There you are. I'm looking forward to planting my spring crops. Sugar peas, here we come. Didn't Mel just say that? I'm pretty sure Mel just said the same thing. Hello, fellow entrepreneur. Pneer. You must be that Brit Rick. Fantastic to meet you. I'm Pearl, the head of the Merchants Guild. You know, I bet you have a bunch of stuff in your pockets that you'd like to get rid of. Am I right? What if I told you you could turn that random junk into cold, hard florins? It's true. You can sell that stuff for florins right here and now. Well, in the market and the money isn't deposited automatically. Now that is not the time for questions. It's the time to learn. Pay attention because what I'm about to say may change your life. Everything in Azoria sells. Everything, plant fibers, sold, clay, sold, spring pepper, sold. And it's as easy, uh, it's so easy a chickaroo, a chickoo could do it. 
See, in the middle of the market are tables. You put something on those tables and by the next morning, it's sold. I know what you're wondering. Who is buying everything? Don't worry about it. Azoria simply has a healthy economy full of buyers who are hungry for junk and gems alike. That's why I have a pillar that says one Azorian's inventory is another's resources. Try putting a few things on the marketplace table to sell them. Mayor Merritt will be so happy you're participating in Azoria's economy. Find her when you're done. Okay, so we can sell stuff. Let's sell some bugs. Why not? And then we can sell some fishes stuff on this other one. Fishy, fishy like things. Oh, they don't stack. Okay. Okay, that's kind of cute though that they actually show you the item that you're placing. Oh, that's food. Let's not sell that one. Okay, there we go. Let's go to Merit. Okay, we did the quest. All we had to do was, all we had to do was sell something. Gotcha. Can we catch that snail too? Oh, I caught the snail. Actually, that's kind of cute. That is energy. Oh, that is energy. Okay, I love that. This person was at my house and has decided to go home. How dare they go home? I was just here. Hello there. Thanks again for coming to Azoria. I hope you'll stay a long time. I can't leave. You already told me about the whirlpools. We're acquaintances. We're friends. I love that. Alaric the wizard. Uh, magic. Of course. Oh, actually, I have to water my crops first. Before I forget. Oh, I guess my watering can is refilled because I fell in the ocean. I guess that's a thing. I guess that happened. That may be a thing. Okay, I probably want to eventually put this stuff in my storage, in my shed, so that I don't have it in my inventory. It's not taking up space, but also I'm not accidentally going to sell it. That's food, so we'll hold on to that. Uh, we should cook too. Make sure we have enough food on it. Oh, the food was just here. Uh, you can cook multiple things at once. I can cook all this stuff at one time, not just one thing at a time. Oh, you love that. I can just cook. I can just batch cook things. Throw them all in, cook as much as I want. Okay, magic exists, and I want to find out what it is. I also want that frog over there because. Look at that frog. Hey, it moved. No, no, don't run away. I want to catch it because it's cute. Oh, it moves too much. I got it. I got the spring pepper. Oh, wait. Spring pepper. <laughs> I got some fish. Is this the wizard? Oh, wait, there's a recipe here. I'm sorry. I'm ignoring you. A wizard's mop. Does it move on its own? We Gandhi. Exactly. Hey, yeah. The wisest wizard in town. Also, the only wizard in town. I'd be better, better at making schedules if time wasn't so fiddly. Hello. Hi. Salutation. My name is Alaric, your humble wizard of Azoria. Ooh. Okay. The mayor let us all pick our titles. She vetoed Mel's first title, which was Azoria's Honey Bear. Yes, of course. You're wondering while I ma why I mailed you. And so, um, Zoria has a lot of magic. Wild magic to be specific. As in, uncontrolled, possibly dangerous magic. Oh, no, I don't mean to worry you. No, wait, I do, because it's pretty dangerous. You fear nothing? Well, that's good to hear, but it probably doesn't lend to making good, dis uh, to good decision making. I know what I must do. I will build you a magical staff. Okay, say no more. Say no more. You can use it for protection and to harness some of the wild magic. Okay. That was my tummy. I've been so worked up that I've forgotten to eat. I haven't had a warm meal in days. Do you think you could make me some home-cooked food? I've been eating raw mussels and I think I'm about to turn into one. We need to sell our bugs. And our cute little frog, please. The fact that I can catch a frog with a bug net. There are so many people, I love it. I haven't said hello to everyone, but I'm assuming it'll be a quest to say- Oh my god, look at it! Look at its little peepers! Look at its eyes! Yoink! Look how cute it is! 
Oh, and the way it was just scurrying around, please. <gasps> Frogs again. Oh, let me grab this. Let me grab this. And shag rug. Okay, I can't get in here because it's all swampy. It's all swampy. Okay, let's see if I can cook the crabs. Charred fish, broiled shellfish. Oh, I already have broiled shellfish on me, don't I? Broiled shellfish is what it turned it into. I already had some. I just assumed it would be called mussels. But, you know, because they were mussels. Not me not paying attention and making my life harder for myself. That's okay, though. Learning curve. I want another frog because they're so cute. They're so cute. There you go. We did it. <gasps> Huckleberries. That's so cute. Should I try to catch more frogs? Because they're very cute. These frogs are adorable. Wait, wait, I can't see where you went. I can't gotcha. You actually came to me that time, so... I will take it. If we press escape, here we go. Quests, prog progression, there we go. Okay. So, uh, mining level one is power, efficiency, power. Okay. So the power would be how many hits it takes to mine it, and then efficiency would be how much energy you use. We've got mining, logging, farming, fishing, foraging, critter catching, animal care, cooking, potion brewing, and magic. I love that. And then the tools. Oh my goodness. Uh, normal, copper, iron, ferrite, silver, orchicolcum. Orchicolum? I don't even know how you pronounce this. I've seen it in so many games, I don't know how to pronounce it. And gold. I think gold is the, t the final tier. I like that. Look how many skills there are, too. And the more you do it, not only do you get better at doing it, but it also requires less energy as well, which is really nice. Why is it sparkling like that? Oh, I missed. Oh, a moon moth. Why is it so fancy? A giant rare moth with wings that sparkle in the lowland night. Okay, it says rare, which means I'm holding on to that one. Transfer. I'm holding on to that one because if it says rare, it means it's fancy. Okay, let's sleep. Get our energy back. Oh, we made 230 gold today. Nice. It's not called gold, it's called florins. And it's all from bugs. Nice. Alaric and I met where the thorns were the thickest. He presented me with the oddest magical stuff I've ever witnessed. But looks can be deceiving because the thorns began receding. The jumbles should be afraid of my new power. Good-natured Azorians need no longer cower.